on this week. Yes. Um, no question mark. I said to this. This room is not Mike. Yeah, this is around the table. Thursday. Oh, I didn't see it. I emailed that. I said it was not a question. Haven't heard from that. What's today's date? The 19th. Thanks. Welcome to the May 19th Finance Committee meeting. Tonight we are going over the warrant, both the special town meeting and the annual town meeting. I'm hoping that we can start making recommendations on the articles um, and wrap this up. We'll start with the special town meeting. First article, and we're not going to hit all the articles tonight. Some of them we're going to still need some info on, like funding sources for transfers and those things. So we'll skip over those. We can come back. The first article is Article 1. To see if the town will vote to transfer from health insurance the sum of $46,000 for sick leave and vacation buyback for three employees who will be retiring in fiscal year 2016 or take any action, any other action relative thereto. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion on Article 1. Um, available funds, it's not right. It's just, it's Okay. Uh, further discussion on that one? And all those in favor of recommending approval? Opposed? Abstain? Thank you. Article 2, to see if the town will vote to rescind the following authorized unissued debt as these funds are no longer needed for their intended purpose or to take any other action relative thereto. I am not going to read these. They'll be with the recommendations on the website for anybody watching. Motion to approve Article 2. Second. There's a motion and a second to approve Article, recommend approval of Article 2. Is there discussion on that? Looks like we consolidated them from previous. That's correct. Yeah, all in one article Good. now. For advice of council. And this is debt that was authorized to spend up to, and this is the unused portions coming back, exactly. basically clearing up the credit. So any further discussion? Uh, all those in favor of recommending approval of Article 2? Opposed? Abstained? Thank you. Article 3. To see if the town will vote to transfer from the water receipts reserved for appropriation the sum of $50,000 for the purpose of purchasing and installing water meters, including all incidental and related costs, or take any other action relative thereto. Motion to approve Article 3. Second. Discussion on this? And there's funding in there. There's enough funding for this. There is. Great. All those in favor of recommending approval of Article 3? Opposed? Abstain? Thank you. Article 4, to see if the town will vote to transfer from the water receipts reserved for appropriation the sum of $50,000 with the like amount from the town of Rockland for the purpose of upgrading the department's IT servers and billing software. As the system has become aged and billing system needs converting or take any other action relative thereto. Motion to approve Article 4. Second. Discussion on Article 4. Great. All those in favor? Opposed? Abstain. Thank you. Article 5. To see if the town will vote to transfer from the water receipts re reserved for appropriation the sum of $70,000 to the town of Rockland general fund for the town of Abington's portion of the pension cost assessed to the town of Rockland by the Plymouth County Retirement Association in fiscal year 2010 or take any other action relative thereto. So this is the final payment. This is the final payment. And we're all caught up all and caught everybody's up. happy. Yep. Motion to approve Article 5. Second. Discussion on Article 5? All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. Abstain? Nobody. Article 6, to see if the town will vote to transfer from health insurance the sum of $5,000 for the purpose of covering the expenses during Flag Day weekend at Island Grove, including the unveiling and celebration of the restored memorial arch to be held on June 13th and June 14th, 2015, or take any other action relative thereto. Motion to approve the discussion. Article 6. Second. In motion to approve? Yeah, well, okay. I'm, I'm motioning to approve and I want to have a discussion. <laughs> <laughs> There's a motion to approve and a second to recommend approval. Thank you. 
Right. All right. Discussion. Yes. Um, did we find out if funds were being raised for, if there was any fundraising going on for that event? Not for this event, okay. no. Well, I shouldn't say that. There were some private donations uh, to pay for a speaker and, uh, sound and a donation of a sound system from the KFC. So there were some small private donations. But there isn't a fundraising effort to raise like $5,000 for the, for the expenses of Flag Day. What and what would they use the $5,000 for? Well, there's certain things. There's one issue. There's a um, light pole right at the arch which is kind of like an eyesore as you're looking at the arch all restored, it's right there. Uh, so Engrid can move that light 25 feet to the right, which would work well for the lighting. There's a cost associated with that. That could be even five or 6,000. But uh, then this other lighting where the bandstand is going to be, there may be lights that need to be turned on or we do our own lighting for that. Um, so we actually asked for a breakdown today um, for that, the breakdown of the 5,000 that it was specifically used for. When it was put on, it was an unknown, it was right. put on early. Um, but those would be the costs, there would be the bands and um, those types of things. I'd love to see the breakdown. Yeah, when, if the, when do you if you'd consider that, sending your motion? Yeah, the breakdown, yeah, I could give you the breakdown tomorrow. It's basically the lighting, the sound, um, those types of things. All right, I'm gonna rescind my um, recommendation to approve and and then we can do it tomorrow night after we have to look at the breakdown. We can now over sit in a second. I'm sorry with that. Any further discussion on that? Thank you. Article 7, to see if the town will vote to transfer $30,000 from the ambulance enterprise retained earning to the FY 2015 Fire Department General Fund salary line item or take any other action relative thereto. So this is to pay for overtime, I believe, um, as it was explained to us, a result of... Yes. The winter that we had and having to call in extra guys. That's right, having the stations manned. Motion to approve Article 7. Second. Discussion on Article 7 on the motion? Discuss. <clears throat> what if we don't approve this? And the reason I'm asking that is the fact that, like I said, I, I mentioned it the last time, I know that the fire department had a lot of calls during the winter. <coughs> we had other public service departments that managed to stay within their budget, and they had just as much work that had to be done during the storms. And I looked back on my notes and we put four people on several years ago and were told that we'd be at full staff and it would reduce the overtime. And we just got four people, I believe, on a grant. And looking at my notes, when the chief was here in front of us when we were talking about his budget, he mentioned that two of those people were already on and they were on the ambulance as paramedics. They weren't full firefighters yet. So I guess I'm wondering if we had extra people <coughs> four extra people, fully staffed, why with $30,000 over? And to take it out of undesignated um, ambulance, I understand that the money is there for the fire department to use, but it just seems in my mind that they've got this pot of cash, so when they go over, they have it. If anybody else went over, what would they do? So I'd like to know, and he was, um, I believe, uh, the town manager was going to ask him to address this, and I don't know if it's been addressed. I know the chief, he did address it with the chief, <coughs> and I know that the chief said that he's not sure that he's going to need the 30000 Um That was the number that he put in at the time. It's just really unsure of what he's going to need, but somewhere around, may not, not be 30000 Does Just have a breakdown of what his mm. overtime was from the storm, and we're past winter sure at this does. point. Yeah. Can, can we request that for tomorrow to sure. see? I'd, I'd like to see the details of it. Sure. It's a lot of money, yeah. and yeah. it's kind of different from the process of any other department. Yeah. Um, and I think he will be expecting that. I talked to him last week briefly, and he did say it was overtime, and, and so he knows to yep. expect that we were going to be asking okay, great. about that. Okay, so. good. So we have a motion and a second on Article, recommended approval of Article 7. I'm going to rescind my motion and wait for the information that we're looking for until tomorrow, and we can go over it then. I'll rescind the second. Thank you. It's Barbara Stonerson. Article 8. To see if the town will vote to transfer from health insurance to supplement specific budget line items appropriated under Article 1 of the 2014 annual town meeting or otherwise amend said vote. All as recommended by the town manager on the document entitled FY 2015 recommended line item transfers or take any other action relative thereto. We don't have the transfers. That's correct. So I'd like to not take any action on this tonight. Right. <coughs> me. 
Article 9, to see if the town will vote to transfer from certified free cash the sum of $250,000 to the stabilization fund or take any other action relative thereto. This is to repay the money that we had used last year. That's correct, the 240000 So it's <clears throat> that plus an extra ten. Great. That's right. All right. Um, so we back, we'll right. be back whole where we were last year. Plus ten, yeah. Motion to approve Article 9. Second. Discussion on that? Um, on the deficit reduction worksheet that we were talking from it had 300,000. It had 300,000. It did, and that changed the deficit. You have that same memo in this packet. That's the one that came out. I emailed to the group last yeah. night. Yeah. Okay. So the one that you have today is different than the one you received last in, night oh. slightly, and that's one of the small changes is that the uh, money's going into stabilization is now 250,000, and the document you have last night is 300,000. So that's just oh, yeah. to. Um, be able to say a little more towards the snow and ice steps. Uh, so on the the budget memo that um, Rick had sent out and I emailed to the group last night, the deficit reduction worksheet does show um, the reduction from three hundred to two hundred and fifty thousand, which puts an additional fifty thousand towards the snow. That's right, exactly. And this budget, it also, it, it does that, and it also uses the final waste numbers for the waste contract, and it also uses the local aid numbers for the Senate Ways and Means budget. The prior, before I had the governor's number, so you'll see some slight changes in this deficit reduction works sheet versus the one you had last night. So further discussion on that one, does that clear it up? <coughs> Barbara, you're pondering. No, I answered my own question. All right. <laughs> Great. I know. Anybody else? This is a motion and a second to recommend approval of Article 9. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Thank you. Article 10, to see if the town will vote to increase the limit on expenditures from the revolving fund for the planning board review fees from $35,000 to $45,000 or take any other action relative thereto. So what is driving the request for the increase? Is it they, they actually had some large projects. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts was one of them. There was some work on Adam Street. So it's engineering fees that they've, they've taken in and they need to pay back. So this is just fees of people coming in That's for correct. a review. It's part of their application. That's right. And they've already taken in 45000 Okay. So they need to increase it because you can't spend over your 35000 sure. So this will allow we'll them to Kind of put them in a bad it. spot. Yeah, put back what they've taken in. Okay. Yes. We need the motion before yeah. we discuss. Yeah. Motion, motion to approve. To, hey. No, you can do discuss. Show me that you're good. I heard multiple people. Motion. We have a motion. Second. We have a second. Go ahead, Cindy. My only clarification, I know this is on the special, so we're cleaning stuff up for this past fiscal year, but when I looked at this and then I looked at this um, annual, mm -hmm. is there a way to just kind of change the language at all, just to say that this is for fiscal 15, because when you look at fiscal 16, we're going to go from I think 35 or 45,000 to 60. So people might want to, I don't know if people really look at it, but I think it would make it just a little bit more clear that we just want to put it up for fiscal 15 from 35 to 45,000. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's an excellent idea because it is for FY15, so why not just mention that? Can we make that as part of our motion to sure. recommend approval yeah. and start yeah, just, it just whatever? Makes it a little yeah. bit clearer. It, it does. Little bit more the annual, yeah. Yeah. So right now we have a motion. So move. So moved. What are you so moving? The, the, the language, 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 to to <laughs> language to include fiscal year 15. Okay. I'll motion though <laughs> to approve Article. We have a motion in a second, and he moved. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, Dev. This was I a jump was, on these women. <laughs> are we doing this right? I was letting her finish. Yeah. I thought that was on nine. No, we got a motion in a second from down here. All right. They beat All you right. to it. They did. Mm -hmm. They quick. And Matt has revised his motion, modified yes. this motion. Struggling here. I'm looking to modified, you. modified, modified, amended, amended my motion to All right. <laughs> language pursuant to fiscal year 15. All those in favor of what Matt just said, aye, opposed, abstained. Thank you.
<laughs> so now we'll move on to the annual town meeting warrant, and this has lots of articles. Article 1, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, transfer from available funds, and appropriate from departmental receipts such sums as necessary to, to defray salaries and expenses of the town for the fiscal year 2016. All is set forth in the detailed budget handout or take any other, any action, any other action relative thereto. I'd like to pass on that until we dig into the budget tomorrow night. I could have saved reading all that. <laughs> to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate or transfer from available funds the sum of $1,989 to the town clerk's salary line item for FY 2016 or take any other action relative thereto. Motion to approve Article 2. Second. Discussion on Article 2? Go ahead, Cindy. It's always going to come down this end. Um, <laughs> Town clerk, I believe she said she got a raise last year, and this is a three percent. And I'm wondering where other department, you know, like other people may stand. I don't think there's been raises for other people, so I'm, I'm wondering if this is an appropriate time, especially where we're just so tight with our budget. And it's not that I don't think that she deserves it, mm -hmm. but we're just so pulling at every dollar that we can possibly get. Having just received one, maybe this isn't the right time this year. I feel like this would fall in, and maybe because it's a little different with it being an elected position. Isn't there this ongoing survey of salaries and, and those things? Wouldn't that fall more in line to make a decision around that same time? There's, no, there's not that survey? Not at this time, I believe. I think that Did it, it ever was, happen? I think it was going to be holding off on that for a little bit. Where, Mr. Chairman, if I may, we're actually this in here is the personnel bylaw. Okay. So if that's passed the town meeting, we do have funds available to do the classification okay. survey, and that would follow on the heels of this. So that would be the next step if, if this is passed the town meeting. And I agree with Cindy. I'm, I'm certain that the town clerk is deserving of this, but I don't know that the timing is there. With there haven't just been one last year. What what um, across the board are the. Mm -hmm. um, Increases this year for pay that are not um, no, I mean. well, yeah. just oh, just in general. In this warrant, there isn't any funding for collective collective bargaining agreements on the town side, and there's no increases at this time for um, non-union employee increases. So there's no agreements right now. No, there isn't. What about non-union, um, non-negotiated? Um, are there? there isn't any I don't want to stop for if if you want to delay this discussion because of the union and any of that for Rick. I'm fine with that also. Yeah. I don't want to feel oh, yeah. like we're walking you into anything. No, 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 that's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's just that there's no funding in here for, for, there's an article in here for it, and as of today, there is no agreements in place. Okay. Nor any funding built in to, to fund them mm -hmm. if there were agreements. But the, the article is always in there because we never know where you're going to be when you come to town meeting, if you're going to have an agreement. and if you're going to need funding for it. But at this point in time, there aren't any for FY16, nor any on the non-union side. Okay. Thank you. Further discussion on this? All those in favor of article, recommending approval of Article 2? Those opposed to recommending approval of Article 2. All those abstaining from recommending approval of Article 2. We didn't count the votes. Doug? I got it. What was it? Um, one, four, one, four, nine, and one, four, nine. Four, nine. I mean, zero, four, and one, I'm sorry. Thank zero, you. Five, one. Yeah, <laughs> tell I thought you said you counted it. I worked all weekend here. I'm exhausted. No given Deb a hard time. Oh, Zero, no. four, five against one abstained. <laughs> Thank you. Article three, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate or transfer from available funds such sums as may be necessary to purchase, lease, purchase, equip, and or construct the following capital items and projects, and as may be necessary, therefore, to authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into a contract or contract for such purpose for terms of up to or exceeding three years, all as set forth below. 
and I'm not raising all below. This is all capital items that are funded through their own funding source. No capital items are on here that are being requested to be funded through the general fund. Okay, what's the funding source? Yeah, that's me. Council recommendations, it sense. We've confirmed all of that's there. I'm just that's there's right. a lot for water on here. They have all that in their yeah. fund. Yep, funding is available. John, yes. Can I ask two questions? You can ask three. I'm going to ask two right now. All right. All the water enterprise retained earnings from the leak protection, the survey, the well house, are all those with like amounts from the town of Rockland? They, um, and the reason I asked, I believe when they were separate articles, yeah. they all had like amounts, except, except for the pickup trucks. That except the, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It makes yeah. it look like Abington's paying for two pickup trucks. They are. Abington's yeah, it's $70,000. Because Rockland already purchased two. They purchased two? Yeah. They yeah. Purchased yes. two? Right. Yes. So they're getting four trucks. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And my second question, could we get more clarification on the fire chief vehicle? That's more than a cruiser. It seems kind of expensive to me for a fire chief vehicle to... I had asked I know about that too, and um, I know that that is um, fully equipped with. with but but what we may need. Um, I believe that uh, some of what's involved is uh, radio equipment. Uh, I don't know what all of the details are, though. I'd like to but the maybe we can on get that. I said it's um, the cruisers have radio equipment too, but they also have computers and a lot of other things, and this costs more than one of those fully equipped so I mean it's, it's a great thing to have but we're not the city of Brockton or the city of Boston. While we're asking the chief for the details on the mm -hmm. um, overtime funding can, can we get a detail on what's involved in that is there firefighting equipment that goes along with that $42,000? Sure. Mm -hmm. What is the vehicle? Mm -hmm. And then if we could get the Love to see the wording revised to indicate. Cindy had asked that it's to match like amounts on those items for water that are matching mm -hmm. like amounts from Rockland. Yeah, we had those the two surveys as separate articles, as you said, Cindy, and then council recommended we move them all to the capital plan. That's why we did that. Yeah, it, and I, it uh, it's fine as long as again it might be just a housekeeping so that people know that it's not just all that there's like no, that's a good the time yeah. because mm -hmm. it was clear in the article. It was. And then when we yeah, yeah that, that info has been lost. Kind of fell yeah. Off. Yeah. So maybe you put an asterisk by the ones that are being yeah. funded. Yeah, yeah, funded. yeah. Just, absolutely. It's yeah. More housekeeping I think, than anything. To so serious. since that's all in one article, yeah, um, we should wait. We should. Hold off. Yeah, it would be great if the motion. So could we'll be. rescind the motion. A, I don't think yeah. we've had a motion yet. We're on we great. Really no. 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 We didn't have a vote. Oh, we didn't have one. Great. Okay. So then I'm just going to move right along to Article Four, unless there's further discussion on Article Three. I just. What happens if, just for instance, we don't want to pay for golf carts, but we want to pay for everything else? Well, we are. I, I just. I want to. No, I'm talking about town meeting. Yeah. We are town meeting isn't. I mean, th th I want to clarify that that comes from the money that the no, golf, okay, that the enterprise fund has taken in from that purpose. Yeah. But uh, any there can always be a motion to amend this. If somebody got up on town meeting floor and said, "I think this is crazy. I'd like to strike that," they could they could amend the motion. Okay. Right. So right. I'll amend them. Okay. Assuming the mo I mean, all the moderator right. stuff, I don't want to speak to the moderator. Mm -hmm. Article 4, to see if the town will vote to reauthorize revolving funds under the provisions of GL Chapter 44, Section 53E and a half for the purposes and subject to the limitations specified. All is set forth below. Are all of these the same? You are actually, some are lower. You actually have a separate sheet, too, to uh -huh. give you the FY15 and then the FY16 limit. Um, the library came down from 2000 to 1000 because they hadn't taken anything in yet <coughs> on that. Same with the Board of Health. So all these have been gone over with the town accountant and the department heads 
and this is um, as the auditors request that these are in line with what they've taken in for FY15. So it's not from the department and it's from the it's from the actual receipts. The yeah, but I mean the auditor. Yes, is who. But the departments are all okay Determine. with this? Yep. Okay. Yep. Because that means they can take in more than that. They just can't spend out. And if they do take in more than that, then it can be increased next year. It'll just sit. They, that's right. They just can't Similar spend Similar to what we're doing in planning right now. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's important to the auditors that, that it's in line with what they're actually the receipts they're taking in. And Motion. these are. Motion to approve Article 4. Second. Discussion on the motion to recommend approval of Article 4. Should, are we going to have the separate handout at the town meeting um, with the comparison, or should we put that in the yeah, actual the, warrant article? Because I think that's uh, very useful information for people to see. Because people will want to know what it is. Yeah, I think yeah, it should be included think, as a handout. I think that might be a good idea. So I'll save the questions. Yeah. And there's a lot on the warrant for that night, so. Yeah. I know. <laughs> So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All, um, all those in favor of the motion? Opposed? Same. Okay. Moving along to Article 5. To see if the town will vote to delete the existing personal bylaw and insert in place thereof the following. Well, I am certainly not reading all of this. Um, are there any financial impacts from any of that? Not from the adoption of this, but it, what it does is it allows um, the town manager to do a salary survey and set the rates of, of employees. Okay, so there's a cost associated with it. Yeah, that would be exactly a, a potential. Okay. So we've already put money aside for that too. We have. Okay. Yeah. Motion to approve Article 5. Second. Discussion on the motion to recommend approval of Article 5. All those in favor? Opposed? Abstained? Thank you. Article 6. To see if the town will vote to adopt the changes to the charter adopted initially by the April 2014, at the April 2004 town meeting of the town of Abington, accepted by the voters at referendum <coughs> 4-10-2014, approved by the legislature, Chapter 259 of the Acts of 2004, amendments noted where applicable, applicable as set forth in the Charter Revision Handout, or take any other action relative thereto. Do we have the Charter Revision Handout? We don't have it with you. Okay. So we'll move to Article 7. See if the town will vote to accept Section 3 to 7, inclusive of Chapter 44B of the General Laws, otherwise known as the Massachusetts Community Preservation Act by approving a surcharge on real property for the purposes permitted by said act, including the acquisition, creation, and preservation of open space, the acquisition, preservation, rehabilitation, and restoration of historic resources, the acquisition, creation, preservation, rehabilitation, and restoration of land for recreational use, the acquisition, creation, preservation, and support of community housing, and the rehabilitation and restoration of such open space and community housing that is acquired or created as provided under said act and that the amount of such surcharge on real property shall be 1.5% of the annual real estate tax levy against real property commencing in FY 2017, and that the town hereby accepts the following exemptions from such surcharge permitted under Section 3E of said Act. Property owned and occupied as a domicile by any person who qualifies for low-income housing or low or moderate-income senior housing in the town, as defined in Section 2 of said Acts, and $100,000 of the value of each taxable parcel of residential real, real property or take any other action relative thereto. So this is the CPA um, that we learned about last year and again last week. And this will set, as it says, 1.5% of the tax levy for those purposes. I know we voted on this one in the past. It's Motion. tax. Go ahead. Motion to approve Article 7. Is anybody going to second? Second. Thank you. Discussion on Article 7? I'm going to discuss it. Uh, this one I, I, I've been against and against and against. And as I walk around town, and I encourage everybody just to walk across Highland Grove Bridge. And it pains me to, to speak. I'm going to speak in support of attacks 
because I've always been proud that I don't like them. <laughs> you look at the railings going across Island Grove to the beautiful arch that they just finished, and every one of those railings is rotted, and at some point we're going to have to fix it, and we're going to have to pay for it. So why not get the money now from the state to fix this? It's, it's got to get done. It's got to get done, and if we can get 25% more from the state for nothing, I just think that now's the time to do it. We, we did, you know, didn't want to do it last year because of the school. The school's here. The bridge has to get fixed. There's going to be other projects that we're going to need to do and pay for. So let's get the free money from the state to, to help supplement that. I agree with Chad. I don't. I, other towns are receiving money that we could be receiving. Um, and I do think it's a um, positive thing to the town. Go ahead. Two okay. things. Why one and a half percent? And when I, I, I don't know who it was, it was either me, myself or somebody else, and the guy said that's where he just kind of picked. It was and, uh, Mr. Buckley, who uh, yeah. is the petitioner for the article. Right. And, and I guess that kind of concerned me, because if we are going to vote for it, why one and a half percent? Because you can go up to three, or why not half a percent or one percent? Nobody really worked out the numbers, I don't think. I think because it was, he had said it was the middle of the line. The options, there's three yeah. options. Right. It's one, one and, or it's one anywhere from one, anywhere from one, one to three. three percent. So one and a half was the middle of the road, and I think that was. And I guess the other thing is I thought there were four possible exemptions, and they had thrown in business property in the what he had presented, if I remember correctly. And I was wondering why that. And there are only three here. Well, and this is what we'd be voting on. So if business isn't in here, then. I guess, but why not? I don't know. There are other classes of, like, well, I shouldn't say because I am a disabled veteran, but why not them as well or others? But anyway. Well, the, the, the CPA Act specifies the exemptions. So I don't think that he, the, the petitioner can add in things that aren't in the CPA right. Act. I don't think. That's, that's not the way the law is written. So from the, from the handout that we did get last week, just to state for the record, the three uh, things that can, it can be spent on open space and recreation, historic resources, and community housing. Right. I think those are all very broad. Yeah. So but it's good for the, the article. It, it, it could allow a lot to get done. Stuff that needs to get done. We all walk around and see these things. This is a chance to get money set aside specifically for those projects. Cindy's gonna, the Cindy's gonna scare me right now. No, I'm not gonna scare anybody, but a tax is a tax. Yep. So we're taxing people now for a new fire truck, then that goes away, then we're taxing people for a new school. And then that's gonna go away, then they're talking about at some point a new fire truck. It's gonna be another tax. And people are getting taxed to death. And Knowing, I guess, a little bit more about where this started from, if we had been on board when this first came out, but we're a day late and a dollar short, the towns that actually jumped on board with it have really done very well and gotten a lot of money. And every year, it's less and less and less is taken into the registries, and the state is giving back less and less of that. So we really, I don't think, would recoup as much money as we might anticipate we're going to make. And you only, I think, are allowed to spend so much. And, um, I, I, I just don't see that this is something that would really benefit the town of Abington at this point. And I know when we talked about it the other day, um, at, the, at the joint um, selectments meeting, there seemed to be a particular interest in getting this money and upgrading sports fields and doing things so, you know, I, I, I just don't see that this is the right thing at this particular point in the town. I think we're, everybody's just burdened enough right now. I think one of the things that concerned me with it, and this was going back to last year with the information provided, like you said, the towns that um, <coughs> that approved it right away at the start mm -hmm. of the Community Preservation Act, um, at that time the state was matching at basically a hundred percent. As more communities have joined in on it and as the real estate market has gone down, 
uh, each year the, the percentage that the state contributes has dropped and was down around 20 percent or 20 something percent the last time and has continued to go down and down. Um, I do agree with Chad that the that taking additional money from the, from this there's benefit to that, but I, I I think that the long term viability of that money, as opposed to the long term life of the tax, mm -hmm. is something that we need to consider. I didn't want to address that. You know. Yeah. Okay. No. So. I get that in the past there was more money, but, it, but there's still money there. Maybe we should have done it 10 years ago, and we could have gotten all that extra money that we missed out on. Now's the chance to correct that and at least get it going forward. No town, from what we've told, has lost. Nobody's had money taken from them by doing this. So it's, it might not be as much as it used to be in the reimbursement rate, but it's still something. You, know, you talked about the, the, the reimbursement rate being down. I think we all saw the effects of the economic crash, and we're all hoping that the market's going to pick up, and that's going to slowly tick this back up. I, I just I think it'd be a shame to pass this up again. I, the, there's money there for the taking, and we're letting other towns take it. And, and it's, my, it's not going to cost us any. To to what what my point on that is is at the at the current rate, we have to tax people a dollar to get twenty cents of that money. And well, we get we get the dollar twenty. So we, we get, get the dollar, dollar but we tax we're taxing, the, we're taxing the people of yeah. our town who are already paying high taxes, the, an extra dollar to get the twenty cents from the state. But if we tax them that dollar for projects mm -hmm. that we're going to do, and we don't get the twenty percent, agreed. Those projects still are going to get done twenty percent less. Agreed. But I, I I think at least from the time that I've spent in this town, the the effort to add that additional tax at a, a town meeting or a, a town election uh, has been generally unsuccessful in the past, unless there is a very specific and immediate need like the schools. So, all right. The Further handout, discussion? No. Go the ahead. handout also does say commercial property uh, first hundred grand is exempt, but it doesn't oh, say it so, here. So. Are those the four possible That's, exemptions? Yeah. So you don't have to do all the exemptions. Those yep. are possibilities. Right. So I guess so on what? this, they're not going to do the commercial. Correct. Exactly. Commercial yeah. property okay. would not have the right. okay. first 100,000 right. exempt. Sorry. So commercial would actually That paying, was the only reason. Uh, commercial would be paying every, a little yeah. more than okay. residential. Okay. Exactly. Appraised value, right? That's appraised value? I think it's a quality of life issue. The kind of things that are mentioned here are the kind of things you never get to do. I mean, right now you're short of money, and basically you're letting go some things that you really want to do. This kind of stuff never gets done. And to me, it's a quality of life issue. If you live in Abington, and you want an Abington that looks good, that preserves, you know, different kind of things that it does, you have to pay for it. If I would be in favor of recommending this and letting the town turn it down, if they do, we've done our duty in terms of the kind of, the kind of Abington that I'd like to see. Because these are the kind of things that are never going to get done. Yep. And I guess the other question I have is, if it is approved, then the committee that's formed creates the budget of what they want to spend it on. And then that goes through directly to the selectmen? I believe it goes it to town go meeting. Us? I believe it goes to town meeting. I it does. The, the CPA is mm -hmm. appointed by the selectmen. Yeah. The, 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 the members of that committee, there's a certain count that CPA, that the law requires beyond it. Eight, okay. right. Yeah. Is it eight or it feels like it was some, so I'm not going to. Yeah. floating number, yeah. Well, it's, it, the, the, the laws are very specific on the numbers. The selectmen appoint those. People submit their projects that they would like CPA money for. The committee digests those and does whatever they're going to do with them and then puts forward that proposal. And then town meeting votes on spending that money. So CPA says we want to do these projects. They all qualify. We have that money. Town meeting gets their chance and says, yeah, those as a town, that's what we want to see. We want to see that bridge. We want to see that field, whatever it is. Right. Just a, a quick point to you. What we're discussing and voting on is our, uh, our recommendation of it, that's not correct. whether or not it goes that's to correct. town meeting and, and gets voted on. It will go to town meeting. And vote no, but it basically sets so. the tone. Sure. And, yeah. and, and the town so. can uh, you know, basically uh, not go along with it. Yeah. Cindy? Other than the Memorial Bridge, what is it? We have a committee that has a Griffin's Dairy that we've had three committees and they can't come to any conclusion. We've had other committees that never meet. We've had committee after committee. 
And the Memorial Bridge is millions of dollars worth of repairs. It's not a couple hundred thousand. It's not a, so the amount of tax that we would have to put on people and the amount of money that we would have to hope that the state's going to give, it's going to far exceed what we're going to get. So you know that it's going to end up going for sports fields. It's going to end up going this, it, it, I just don't see to continue to keep taxing and taxing and taxing. I, I just can't. And what are the percentages? There's percentage that needs to go uh, put away for uh, so, historic. 10, 10, and 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. yeah. Right. And so, they can bank this money. They can save yeah. it for that million dollar project yeah. or whatever it is. Right. But it has to, you, you, you can't use all of the money for um, just um, historic um, restorations and you can't use all of the money for just sports fields and you couldn't use all of the money for like one interest it needs to be saved 10 10 10 so that you're uh, yeah. so it's but again the, the voters are going to have that say if, yeah. if, the, if and what happens if they don't agree with the committee at all? What's going to happen then? <coughs> the money doesn't get to the money. Sense. Sense. I guess. Right. It goes yeah. to, it goes and, to the Well, and then you, you the keep trying year. until you find yeah. something that oh, the town supports. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it see? goes to the next year and okay. can yeah. potentially be used in the same or a different way up, up for <coughs> at that point. So we have a motion and a second. I think we've discussed it. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor of recommending approval of Article 7? All those opposed? All those abstained? So what happens with a tie, Deb? <laughs> what is that? Pay. We're not oh. supposed to tie. And I'm sorry, who were the three that were for? Thank you. Is that dead for How do we bring that back up in another meeting? Can somebody reopen that? Yes. Oh, good. So if Tyler ever shows up. Thinking, thinking <laughs> through. <laughs> to see if the town, Article 8, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate or transfer from ambulance enterprise retained earnings the sum of $18,939 for the sick leave and vacation buyback for a deputy fire chief expected to retire in June 2015 or take any other action relative thereto. Motion to approve Article 8. Second. We had this discussion, correct, about the the having this money so that if this <clears throat> retirement takes place, it's not a definitive? It's not a definitive. It's not a definitive until he retires. Right. Yep. But it's the It'll money, it's money owed to yep. the this Yeah, right. this person so owed those funds. It's right. yes. not a choice. Thank you. Yep. Further discussion? If there's no further discussion, all those in favor of recommending approval of Article 8? Opposed? Abstain? Thank you. Article 9, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate or transfer from available funds as follows. Health Imperatives Violence Intervention and Prevention, VIP, programs, formerly a new day. Request $5,000 to the town of Abington for services provided to survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence in fiscal year 2016, or take any other, any other action relative thereto. Motion to approve Article 9. Second. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion on Article 9? All those in favor? Opposed? Abstained? Thank you. Article 10, to see if the town will vote to transfer from the water receipts reserved for appropriation the sum of $4,230 for the purpose of sick leave buyback for an employee of the water department retiring in FY 2015 or take any other action relative thereto. Motion to approve Article 10. Second. Discussion? All those in favor of recommending approval of Article 10? Opposed? Abstained. Article 11, to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of $2 million to replace water mains to allow upgrades to the water system, and that to meet such appropriations, the town treasurer, with the approval of the Board of Selectmen, is authorized to borrow said sum under GL Chapter 44, Section 8-5, or any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds or notes to the town of the town, therefore, or take any other action relative thereto. I struggle with that each time. <laughs> so we need to go out to borrow for that. <coughs> yes, this this is an article to borrow. Yes? Um, 
did the water commission know we should if, if we went out and did this it wasn't going to raise our water rates is that what he is this the one that he said was not going to raise our water rates by going out to bond for this i believe that he did say that that we paid for under the existing mm -hmm. Motion to approve Article 11. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Abstained? Article 12 to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate or transfer from available funds a sum of $14,000 for student transportation services to Abington students attending out of district vocational schools as non resident students the 2015-2016 school year or take any other action relative thereto. Motion to approve Article 12. Second. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Discussion? It's a contractual one as well, right? Yes. Uh, regulatory. If there's programs that aren't offered at VOTEC or uh, vocational programs at VOTEC or programs in the Abington schools, the student has the ability to go outside. Um, Norfolk Aggie would be one of them in this pace for them to get there. I think there's four that go to Norfolk Aggie that use this. Further discussion? All those in favor of recommending approval of Article 12? Opposed? Abstain? Article 13, to see if the town... I'm not reading this whole thing. <laughs> I'll read the first paragraph to see if the town will vote to authorize the tax title custodian to accept on such terms and conditions as the tax title custodian in consultation with tax title council <laughs> deems appropriate a deed in lieu of foreclosure pursuant to and in accordance with Mass General Law Chapter 60 Section 77C 2015 and Mass Department of Revenue Property Tax Bureau Informational Guideline Release Number 02-206 for several remaining parcels from the executor trustee of the Pohareki estate that are in tax title. The parcels to be deeded to the town of Abington are as follows. And that info will be on <laughs> the town's website with the recommendations. So this is all of the land that um, we were shown last week on the uh, handouts. Maybe it's not for fuel sales? <laughs> not if we don't large, have CPA money. What? Large solar array. Motion to approve Article 13. Second. Discussion on the motion to recommend approval of Article 13. I'm going to go with Leggy first on this one. Oh. I don't know Leggy. I thought you said Article 13. No, I didn't have a question. I was kind of. Oh, we were, I thought you had a question. I thought you were raising for questions. All those in favor? <laughs> Recommended approval. I went too quick. Couldn't keep up with myself. <laughs> I thought they would have questions too. Oh, good. Thanks. Article 14, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1,200,000 for the purchase and equipping of a new aerial ladder truck for the fire department as approved under question one of the April 25th, 2015 annual town election. And in connection therewith to rescind the vote taken under Article 26 of the June 9th, 2014 annual town meeting, authorizing a borrowing for such purposes or take any other action relative thereto. So this is just changing the funding mechanism for the fire truck. and. Motion to approve Article 14. Second. Discussion on the motion to recommend approval of Article 14. Remind me, what are we changing the funding to? To a debt exclusion, one year capital okay. exclusion. Okay. So it was never clarified. Yeah, yeah it, it wasn't clear be. before. It was just stated as we could do, yes. get the money somehow. That's correct. Now it's a one year capital exclusion. Okay. Further discussion? All those in favor of recommending approval of Article 14? Opposed? Abstained? <clears throat> Article 15, to see if the town will vote to accept provisions of MGL Chapter 41, Section 81U, which states in part, the proceeds of any such bond or deposit shall, made of it, shall be made available to the town for expenditure, I think that's a typo, to meet the costs and expenses of the municipality in completing the work as oh, specified okay. in the approved plan. If such proceeds do not exceed $100,000, the expenditure may be made without specific appropriation under Section 53 of Chapter 44, provided, however, that such expenditure is approved by the Board of Selectmen. The provisions of this paragraph shall not apply to cities or to towns having town councils or take any other action relative thereto. So what does that mean? <laughs> this basically, in a nutshell, means that if you'd be accepting the statute that if a developer walked away on a development before it was finished, the Board of Selectmen could allow the surety to be used to finish 
the development without going back to town meeting. Once you've accepted the statute, it's a board of selectmen vote as opposed to going to town meeting every time to allow that to happen. So right now, if a developer walks from his project, town meeting has to approve the bond being used? That's right, okay. unless this, a statute is accepted. Okay. And, and it's just pursuant to the, if I could just skip ahead to the next one, Mayflower Avenue is a real situation where that happens. So if Article 15 isn't adopted, Article 16 would protect, would authorize, town meeting would authorize the planning board to use the assurity to finish the project of Mayflower. Otherwise, Avenue. it has to sit between town meetings. Yeah. Or you have to have a special town meeting just for that. Yes. Which we would. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Where, where is Mayflower? Mayflower is in back of um, I think right now it's on its way to Plymouth. Street. Okay. Still Pilgrim Street is off of uh, Pilgrim Street. Yeah, back in the ends. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just say that everybody knows we're Pilgrim <laughs> behind the <laughs> ends. Yeah. So, motion to approve Article 15. Second. second. All right. Who wants to second? Pete gets it. Any discussion on the motion to recommend approval of Article 15? All those in favor of recommending approval of Article 15? Opposed? Abstain? Thank you. Article 16, I can't write and read at the same time. See if the town will vote to see if the town will authorize the planning board to expend the amount of surety held as needed to complete the roadway known as Mayflower Ave or take any other action relative thereto. Where's Mayflower Ave? That's I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so we just covered this in Article 15. Is there a motion? Motion to approve Article 16. Second. Discussion? What, I'm just curious what needs to be done with Mayflower Ave. Like what, how far did they get and then walk away? I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I'm not sure how far they got or how far they didn't get. Is there I enough funding in the bond to finish it? Yes. Okay. There is. If it's the road that I'm thinking, I think it just one road ends and then it and it, one road ends and it doesn't meet the other. <laughs> <laughs> you can get in, but you can't get out. Yeah, I think it, it kind of dead ends on it. I think. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's the road. If you go down behind the street beside the dry cleaner. Um, yeah, and then okay. down that way, and then yeah. it doesn't it looks like you go, go anywhere. Go straight. Yeah. So when that happens, are those developers allowed to con to do business in town again? Are they are they blacklisted? How does that work? I know the planning board is in dealings with them to okay. figure that out. I don't know if I know legally where, how it goes, okay. but yes, they are always trying to get that you know taken care of. Do we have a motion on this one? Uh, no, yeah, I think I do. Yes, yes we do. Um, um, all those in favor? Discussion. Any further discussion? <laughs> all those in favor of recommending approval? Opposed? Thank you. I need a piece of cake. That's what it is. Yeah. That's the problem. Article 17. Mm -hmm. See if the town will vote to amend the zoning bylaws by deleting the titles and text of Article. Is that nine? Mm -hmm. Nine. Signs. Sections 175 56 through 175 60 and inserting in place thereof a new bylaw as set forth below or take any other action relative thereto. So this is the, I'd like you to read the whole thing, please. Sure. <laughs> so we'll get out of here about nine. So this is the long, personally for me, long awaited uh, revisions to the signed bylaw. Um, I'm wondering in the in, with this particular article if we should defer to the planning board instead of making a recommendation, not saying that we wouldn't recommend it, but just um, it, it's a really long, lengthy article, and I think. I don't know the that there's any financial board impact. Might want yeah, there, there isn't. We discussed with right. the. Um, yeah. But so it might be better to defer to them so they can explain their. Yeah. So if somebody wants to make a motion. Motion to take no action. Oh, yeah. Yeah. motion to, excuse me, motion to, to defer, defer to the planning board. To the planning board. Um, for them to explain it. Can we see what other planning boards are in here and maybe put them all in like one? Like motion because they came and talked to us. They gave us a nice little chat. So if we're yep. going to defer all of them, why don't we take them all up as like a block? Well, I do have a question about one. <laughs> so, so so that would well, but we but it we, might be a separate article. I have to look through. We we could one. so first there's there's a motion with no second, second, second. Okay, Mr. Chairman, I think you want to um, defer that to the zoning board. Zoning. That, that one. Okay. Zoning. It's so on by the planning board, but we, 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 could, to the we could decide which ones and handle them all at once. 
if somebody has a record, we could, if, if the motion that we now have a motion in the second was rescinded, there could be a new motion to change a whole bunch of them to defer to planning to knock like six of them off and speed the night up, which I think would be a great idea. Um, are there any looking through these? What are the other articles? I guess let's finish the discussion on. There's a motion and a second for this, so I don't want to get sidetracked. But do you want to rescind the motion? For, for this particular one, I don't have any questions about anything about the signs or anything like okay. that. I am fine to um, defer to the zoning board. Okay. So we'll, any further discussion on the motion to recommend approval of Article 17? Uh, to defer to the planning board. Zoning, zoning, zoning board. board. You better have a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> Any further discussion on the motion to recommend deferring to the zoning board on Article 17? No further discussion. All those in favor? Opposed? Abstain. Thank you. So now when we move into the next ones for the planning board, Cindy would like to consider bundling them all together, especially those that don't have any financial impact. So. Yeah, as long as there's no financial impact, and they mentioned that I, I think none of them did. Right. Um, so have that on your handout. There's mm -hmm. one that so I would 18 put. is fencing. Yeah. 19, 18, phase 19, development. 21. So this, this doesn't match the. The numbers are different. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. So 19 is the phase development know. that's already Rockets. expired, but we're just officially expiring. Yep. 20. 18, 19, 21, so far. What, what's on 20? 20 is zoning. Oh, OK, planning. we're just looking at them yeah, so Which 18? Outdoor lighting is 20. 20. 21. Barbara, which was the one that you wanted I'm, to? That's what I'm looking right yeah, now. Um, 24 about the Muppet, the Muppet, about changing all the of Muppet. the Muppet. The um, in zoning Southfield. Southfield. I'd, I'd like to not on the Southfield okay. one, yeah. That was the only one that I That's had. the one I'd like to discuss separate yes, from the I, I agree. Okay. Yeah. So, agree on that. 18, 19, and 21. Anything else 18, I 18, 19, 20. Bundling? No, 20 oh, is 20 is, um, no. okay. 21, we're just doing planning. Okay. Okay. 18, 19, 21. 24. Twenty-four. I think it's the Muppet. Twenty-four. They want to hold off on separate. Yeah. They don't want to bundle it. Yeah, I don't want to bundle. That it. was the. That's the South Southfield. That's the Aries. Southfield. That's the Muppet Southfield. Changing what its yeah. own does. Okay. I thought that was twenty-seven. Five. 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 Six. Is it zoning or planning? It's the solar. Trying to get to the end of it. Planning. Twenty six. Twenty six is the solar one. That's planning. Yep. Okay. Mm. Did we get any kind of clarification on the solar about large, non ground mounted? Like large roof, do you know? I, I, asked. Okay. I think it, that night. It wasn't clear. when the. I think when you read further in it, he came back up and said, "If you read further down, that there was a clarification." Sort of. Yeah, it was. It, it there was, it was sort of okay, kind sort of, of, but clear. it wasn't opaque. It wasn't clear. <laughs> Wasn't I still recommend that, that go to planning and they can explain it. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I, don't I think was just any asking financial. for my own curiosity. So I would look for a motion to bundle. If motion. somebody would like to bundle those. 18, 19, 21, 25, and 26. Motion to defer articles 18, 19, 21, 25, and 26 to the planning board. Second. Discussion? All those in favor of recommending, the, all those in favor of deferring to planning, 18, 19, 21, 25, and 26. All those opposed? Thank you. I'm just going to make my notes before we move on. So 18. Everybody's 
Sorry, I'm slowing everybody down. Okay. 21, 25, 26. So article 20 is on page 23. Yes, be that's what I was one. looking for. Yep, 23, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So 20 would be the next one. So are there Medical. multiple zonings that we wanted to yeah. do the same thing with? Um, yes. So, so can we go through and... Article 20 is the light trespass. Article 22 is off-street parking. That was to reduce the required amount. 23 is the transitional commercial district under 18. That, that was it. I think so, yeah. Yep. No other no other zonings. I'd like to um, recommend deferring to the zoning board for articles 20, 22, and 23. Second. Second. Sorry. Sorry. A motion and a second for 20. I'll give that one. 22 and 23. To recommend uh, defer to defer. Discussion? All those in favor of deferring to zoning? Thank you. So the next one is Article 24. The Muppet. Muppet. The Muppet. And this is, um, we had a lot of discussion. I will read the first paragraph. I'm not reading any more than that. <laughs> See if the town will vote to amend its zoning map dated March 1975 as most recently amended by rezoning from multi use plan development district Muppet to industrial. The parcels listed and described below compromise, comprising certain parcels of land within the town of Abington that are located within the former South Weymouth Naval Air Base or take any action relative thereto copy of the town's current zoning map and a copy of the proposed zoning map reflecting the revisions proposed below are on file with the office of the town clerk and are available for review during normal business hours Monday through Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 1 to 12.30 p.m. The parcels to be rezoned from multi-use plan development district to industrial are, and there's a long list. So... Is there a motion or no discussion? No. Yeah, I'm going to motion to approve for because I want to discuss it. Is anybody yeah. seconding the motion? Second. Discussion? Okay, so um, I definitely am concerned with that right as this new um, owner. owner purchaser is coming in Developer. that we would change the zoning um, and I don't know what discussions have taken place with the new um, purchasers. If this would tie their hands in any way, if the, you know, I just wonder if um, if this is going to tie the hands of, of anyone as we move forward into trying to get this taken care of. I think it certainly changes the it changes the scope for sure. There's a um, a planned thing, and that's what was agreed upon with. All the all the laws that that built Southfield, and to go and change it to industrial, I I think it, it throws a wrench in that, and, and it, it has to affect the project down there. And why why change it to industrial? There's, there's other industrial that isn't full. We're not at a and shortage of industrial, and I it certainly restricts what a new developer can do yeah. in that space. Industrial is different than and than what the and I, I, is. So for as far as the financial on. implication to us, um, you know, could the town receive fallout because of that? Can they come back and sue us? Can they, you know, is it going to put a, 
bad taste in my mouth too. Just to have not business with, um, you know, with someone that's looking to um, take on this project that clearly isn't. And did the deal go through with the new guys? Did they take? Yeah. So they took ownership. Yeah. They did. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. The new owners. So they've they had about a about week. This? They well, they were at that meeting that we were all at. Um, I don't know if this they, they discussed that or they, 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 they left before so, we discussed uh, I know they're aware of that. People are aware of it. Whether um, I'm sure it's been conveyed. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. That I'm, I'm sure they they are aware of it. I know that you know Crystal. the prior people were aware of that. I, th that's on them to do their due diligence on it, yeah, but I, I just think the timing, scary. let's let them get, start their conversations up with the towns. They've owned it a week. I, I think the timing is horrible. I agree. I know Starwood and the planning board have spoken, so I'm sure yeah. L, L Star has been so, so we have a motion and a second. And is there any further discussion on this one? We have a motion and a second to recommend approval. Should we check with, just to make sure that they are aware? You know, like with Chris Ayala, who's our... I, I, the Southfield rep for Abington is aware of it. Okay, but can we find out from him that this company is aware of it? That they would, or that they're okay with it? Or, I mean, I, I don't know what we could do. I don't think they could say whether they, or I don't think they were saying whether they were okay with it or not before mm -hmm. purchasing, before that yeah, actually they, going through. They didn't know about it. Well, no, I don't think they, uh, did they? I, I think that maybe they yes. knew, but weren't yeah. saying I yes or no. I, I, mm -hmm. That's the impression I got from until they were the owners. Until yeah. they were the owners, they weren't gonna. I think. Yeah. I'd like to vote on it. I, I think it's on them to, if they want to come and say they're not okay or they're okay with it, and they they were here, they had to have yes. known that night. Okay. Um, there's a motion and a second to recommend approval of it. All those in favor of recommending approval. All those opposed to recommending approval. All those abstaining from recommending approval. Um, wait, no. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Article yeah. 27 to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate. Do we have any? There's no update on that, right? Right. It's collective it's, bargaining. The article's okay. in there, but there is no. It's a placeholder. Um, right. Currently, there are no agreements that apply to this, nor any funding tied to it. So we should take no action? Yeah, I'm going to move right to yeah. 28. Article 28 to see if the town will vote. To amend the town bylaws, chapter 67, section 1, entitled Finance Committee, by inserting the underlying text and deleting the strike through text as follows. I am going to read this one. A finance committee of nine voters of the town shall be appointed by the moderator to fill staggered three year terms. No elective or appointive town officer or town employee shall be eligible to serve on said committee. If any member takes out nominated, so this is the addition. This, if any member takes out nomination papers for an elective office, the member's position shall thereupon be deemed vacant. Further, if any member issues a press release or makes a formal statement to the public, whether through print or social media or otherwise, that the member intends to be a traditional or write-in candidate for office, the member's position shall thereupon be deemed vacant. Any vacancy created hereunder shall be filled as herein provided. And then we are striking out uh, if any member announces his candidacy for that's discriminatory. If any member <laughs> announces his candidacy That's for an elective office, right. his position shall be deemed to be vacant and shall be filled as here and provided. So it's clarifying, or, or, or take any other action relative there too. So this is clarifying there had been um, questions on, on when are you a candidate. This clarifies that according to this bylaw, you are a candidate when you take out those papers rather than when you return them. or. Or make a make statement, a press release, or a formal statement, statement. Yeah, through social media. So this is just clarifying some loose ends. Um, Motion to approve Article Twenty Eight. Second. Discussion on this. I think it's a great article to <coughs> clarify that. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? All those in favor of recommending approval of Article Twenty Eight. Opposed. 
abstained. Article 29. To see if the town will vote to discontinue the use of the Common Core State Standards and the associated testing known, testing known as PARC within the Abington School District and return to using the pre-2009 Massachusetts Standards in ELA, Math, Science, slash Technology, and History, slash Social Science, and associated tested known as MCAS. I'm not going to read the whole article. Um, I know that the moderator was working with the petitioner to make the language uh, appropriate. This is a not a binding article. It's more of a statement article. I don't think that there's, meeting. yeah, it's a sense in the meeting. I don't think that there's any financial, imp I don't see any financial no. impact in this. I don't know that we have any business getting involved in this one. I just will speak for myself and say quite honestly, I really don't know enough about it compared to the standardized testing that we do now. Um, or, or how it's run. I just don't have enough information to feel comfortable to, for myself to vote any which way on it. I would abstain regardless of. Well, can't we do what we do with the zoning and just defer it to the petitioner? Can you defer? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Defer to the petitioner. Motion to approve to defer to the petitioner. So the motion is to defer motion to, to the defer. <laughs> So we have a motion to defer to the petitioner. Second. We have a second. Is there any further discussion on Article 29? All those in favor of deferring to the petitioner. All those opposed to deferring to the petitioner. Abstain. Thank you. Joy, am I correct in assuming that the petitioner can also have some member of the town speak for them? Like, if they review this with the town manager, they could get up and speak for the petitioner? Um, I don't know that. I don't know. And that would make it kind of cloudy. Yeah, I think that would be cloudy. Well, I also don't know if the uh, Well, I mean, if the town manager got up and said something about school stuff, about, about what right. testing should be yeah. done at school to explain it. I mean, I don't think he'd be the best. <laughs> Basically, it's kind of, it's I think the time is like, I mean, it's going to be a I am not getting into this this one. Yeah. Based on last week, I think the petitioner would have to speak to yourself. Yeah. So, moving along to minute, yeah, minutes are next. We're not going to talk about the budget tonight unless somebody has a strong desire to. It's quarter past eight. We have about seven minutes left of tape. Um, <laughs> tomorrow night we will meet and dig into the budget. We all got revised handouts. Come with your questions. Minutes. We have minutes from and May. Fund transfers. Well, the deal with reserve fund transfers tomorrow also. Um, we have minutes from May 6th. Excused were Michael and Sean. They're excused tonight also. Motion to approve meeting minutes of May 6, 2015. Second. Discussion on the meeting minutes from May 6. I think they were excellently detailed. Thank Let's you. speak a little louder. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor of approving the meeting minutes from May 6? Opposed? Abstained? Uh, I got the mail. There's two things. There is the latest copy of the beacon. I know Cindy's been dying for this. Oh, I have that. Um, the City of Pittsfield Municipal Tax Title Assignment Auction is on May 26th, 2015 at 1 p.m. at City Hall, 70 Allen Street in Pittsfield, Mass. They're looking for people to come. You can view the streaming auction live also if anybody's interested in Pittsfield. That wraps up everything on the agenda for tonight. No, I'm sorry. Liaison reports. We have four minutes on the tape. Okay. Abington School Building Committee meeting, 7 May. Um, basically, uh, the design update is uh, going to be yield a lead silver building which means we'll get two percent more from the MSBA it's mm -hmm. fantastic uh, they're not going to go for gold or platinum because it won't make any monetary sense to do so there's going to be a public meeting uh, of the committee on the 17th of June 6 p.m. at the senior center at least that's what's scheduled now so that anybody wants to come from the town can l learn what's going on uh, they're working with National Grid to take over. National Grid's going to take over the uh, lighting on Glenowitz Way. Um, and they have uh, a list of bidders uh, and uh, pre qualified contractors is uh, set now or almost there. And plans 
the actual construction plans are at 60% complete. Crazy. They've been delivered to MSBA for approval. And as always, the budget's on track. So everything's good. Thank you. Thanks. Any additional liaison reports? And you'll follow up with Rick on the questions on the, or with the fire chief. On the fire chief and yep. the $5,000 for the flag day Perfect. and the reserve fund transfers and the, for the like amount in the capital. For the I forgot about the water, water, for water. For the water. Thank you. Anybody else looking for a motion if there's nothing motion else? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor of the motion to adjourn. Thank you.